Let's be honest, most of us expected United to go 1-0 down tonight. We've done it so often away from home this season that it's just become a bit of a habit. But what we've also made a habit is coming from behind to win away from home. United go back top of the Premier League at the halfway point this season. Manchester United are top of the Premier League and with a 13-game unbeaten run, our last Premier League defeat was that crappy 1-0 defeat against Arsenal. United have got the longest unbeaten run of any team in Europe's top five leagues. And we are top of the Premier League again. You've got to be happy about that. There was plenty not to be happy about. I'll get into the first 15 minutes in a bit. But my God, that goal from Paul Popper was absolutely world class. Pogba in that game was world class. Bruno had a had a shaky start to the game, but it was his. He looked angry. He looked like he was pissed off. He hit the post, and then straight after that, it was his shot. Fumbled by Fulham's goalkeeper Cavani was there to knock it in one all. And then in that second half, United really turned the screw. The pressure. Fred was winning the ball back high up the pitch. Pogba was winning the ball back plenty tonight. Shaw was playing well, wan Bissaka, we'll talk about him in a bit. But United as a team, we were pushing and pushing and pushing and the goal seemed like it was coming and it came and I, wow, that goal from Paul Popper. Look, I've spoken about Paul Popper so much and you all have spoken about Paul Popper as well, plenty. And I said in a video a while ago that Paul Popper for me wasn't worth the circus. That Paul Popper there, he's worth the circus. And I, I think if, if you're looking at Something I've been thinking about, Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes, for me, are two very different... Mentally, they're two very different players. Bruno Fernandes was able to come into this team and drag them up to where we are at now. Whereas Paul Pogba, for me, is somebody I think the best. you get the best out of Paul Pogba when you, when you have him in a team that's playing well, that's surrounded by good players in good form. And I think that's when Paul Pogba shines. I cannot wait, hopefully between now and the end of the season, if we can see Bruno Fernandes refining his early form from this season and Paul Popper playing like this together in the same team at that level, United genuinely have a chance of winning the Premier League. It's still mad to say, and it really, really is, but you can't discount United when we keep doing this away from home. Look, that's for 15 minutes. Absolutely abysmal from Aaron wan to be that deep. He just you shouldn't do it. It was a horrendous defending. It was too much space between Shaw and Maguire. Just organisationally, the whole defence was an absolute shambles there. And it's no surprise. We've seen it from so from United so many times this season. It's just become this, this habit, this pattern that, just, that keeps repeating itself. And it has to be coached out of the team. I don't know what has to happen to change it. But it, but it, but it still hasn't changed. It was abysmal, but let's be honest... We all expected it. it this, this happens to United away from home. We play shit. We improve. We get back into the game. And since November, well, actually no, since last year, we've just been not losing those games and winning the majority of them. It's it's a brilliant habit to have in that sense. It, I really feel like United, are certainly away from home now, when, when we're 1-0 down, we're not out of the game. I, I, for the last few years, I've always... I've not, not really had that feeling, if I'm honest. As a United fan, it's, it's the feeling that we always want, that you're always going to chase through for everything but the kitchen sink to get that equaliser, to get that winner. And that's something that we, we do much better now as a collective unit. And that's how we play tonight. I think Fred, look, Loftus-Cheek was Fulham's best player. He was so dominant, but Fred was just like a terrier, snapping at the ankles of the Fulham defence, snapping at the ankles of the Fulham midfielders, attackers everywhere. He really was everywhere in midfield, and he's a perfect complement to Pogba. Because they seem to... Actually, I say the perfect compliment. It's the first time they've ever played together in central midfield. And I'll tell you what, it seemed to work. wan Bissaka for me was just absolutely shocking for that. Who else am I talking about? Cavani. Look, man, he's scored more goals than Falcao for United now. He's certainly more of an Ibrahimovic type signing than he is a Falcao type signing. I think we can all agree on that. Just a, a perfect striker. I think he's always in the position at the right time. He deserves a second goal. A fantastic save by Ariola. But Cavani offers so much more as a number nine than Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial does. Anthony Martial's... Con you say he's run a form. Like he's, he's, he does have a decent goal and assist return in the last like 10 games. But he's just... He's not the Martial last season. Certainly not with his finishing. And that's what we need right now. And that's why Cavani offers so much more. Marcus Rashford without the team. Needed a rest. 
He's played in every single game we played this season, I think. That's what they said there. 30 games. He's got 14 goals in that time, which is a, a great return for Rashford. But Cavani is the best striker in this team. And, and with the shape that we play, we need a striker. And that's why Cavani, I think, is going to be so important if this title running is going to continue. And I'll tell you what, it is continuing. You, you cannot discount United now. So many, look, you watch the first 20 minutes of that and it will, that's why everybody is going to say that United have no chance this season. That's why all the pundits say that we're not the best team because let's be honest, we're not the best team, but we're consistent. We're, in those crucial times, we're turning up and the, we're creating the expectation. And we're back top of the Premier League. City turned it around. And they, it was a tough game against Villa earlier, but they got the win. They won 2-0. United responded by coming from behind against Fulham and beating a Fulham team who have never lost whilst well, after they've gone ahead against Scott Parker. They have now because they've played United. And we're top of the league. And Pogba's world-class. Bruno Fernandes, he's out of sorts. But he still plays like that and he still influences the game like that. That's what winners do, man. And after the Liverpool game, there could have been some annoyances. I think I've, in in the goodness of time and stepping back from it, I'm more in the in the Gary Neville camp. In that, I think it was a very good point. I really, really do. Anfield away, Liverpool away. It's just, it's the game you don't want to lose, and we didn't. And to build on that and come here against Fulham, a game that sometimes these banana skins we've slipped up on and let's be honest if you if you want to win the title you have to beat the teams who are in a relegation battle and that's what we did tonight and to do it again from behind it's just it's it's the same old but in a good sense and Pogba for me absolutely outstanding tonight man of the match by some distance it's not just his goal his defensive contributions in the last few weeks in the last month or so it seems like there's been an attitude switch and that's what I'm talking about about him and Bruno Fernandes. I'm saying that Bruno, for me, is the man who came in and dragged everybody up towards his level. And now that he's helped get everyone there, Pogba wants to contribute more. He, he can see that potential title at the end of the season. That is what is driving Pogba's form. As far as I'm concerned, I'm no sports psychologist, but that's what I'm seeing with Paul Pogba. I don't really think that he was the man capable of doing what Bruno Fernandes did in, in, in dragging everyone up. And now that they're there... He wants to party. And that goal there, one of the best you'll see this season. Who is your man of the match? What's your match reaction? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. I'm not sure if you're new, by the way. Top of the league.